Now in Eretz Israel today we're judging, the state is judging people if they were supposed to kill that terrorist or maybe just to shoot him in the legs or whatever. A person that killed, now we're judging ourselves if we were supposed to kill him or not. In other places, there is no place in the world, in the world, there's no one place in the world that was, would be so democratic like us. No, no state is democratic like us. No state in the world, for sure not United States of America, for sure not, for sure not. On every doubt, on every thought, on every, every thought that they have, immediately. We don't have death penalty, right? One time we had the death penalty to Eichmann, to a person that was responsible on the death of more than two million Jews, and generally all of the six millions, because it was a very, very um, high uh, job over there in the, in the kingship of evil tea. And also then, just that you will know for the re recollection, you say, record, just for the record, that also then, after that the judgment came to kill him, there were rabbis and people, of, of public people, important people, that said, let's not kill him. After that court said, let's kill him, they said, let's not kill him. Let's show the world that we're not killing, and we'll take him and bring him back to Germany and tell them, you take care of him. We don't want him here. There was a huge argument here in Eretz Israel after the death penalty, if to kill him or not, in the end they decided to kill him. With all of the kindness and they were taking care of him, no one cursed him, no one hit him, no one, nothing. They were honoring him and respecting him as a prisoner and they gave him everything he needed and took care of him. He also took care of us. <clears throat> More than two million Jews, he was responsible physically to kill them. <coughs> and we treated him so nicely and with all due respect. And so what? We killed him in the end. We're not like that. We're a different nation. And you know what? We don't need to give no explanations to no one. And not that no one going to like us. No one likes us anyway. And the ones that have that point of truth, they're going to like us uh, li uh, anyway. No matter what, because they see the point of truth. They see. They see we're good people. They see we're doing only good things. We're just trying to help. How many good things we've done in the world until today? There is no one nation that gave so much to humanity like us. Not one nation that helped so much, that brought so many doctors, so many scientists, so many lawyers, so many wise people, so many people that were building and supporting economy, Kalkala, Parnasa, so many groups of charity belongs to Jews and, been, been, and, and they're also supported by Jews in the world. And uh, we don't need to explain it and we don't need to wave it because we just need to know it ourselves. We need to know it. We need to remember that. How many good things we've done? Who are we really? And we were always going to be like that. To say, go kill the Arabs, to go kill them, go, even to transfer them, even to... <coughs> there are different people, there are to the terrorists for sure you need today to take them away from here. You're not allowed to permit them to, to live here for another day. The families that were helping them for sure. It's a, you have levels, you have skills, you need to measure. And, and you need to have a conscience, you need to have a heart when you take decisions about human beings. And even if, it's, if they're your enemies, also if they're your enemies, you're not allowed to abuse your enemies, you're not allowed to not to spare them and not to have mercy on them. You, we have our rules, what can we do? We're forced, we're like Hashem. We have our rules, we have our justice, we have our, our truth. So, it's true that there are our enemies because they want to kill us.